Master grips. What are they? And why are they important? Yes, I said grips, plural. One for your handgun and one for your magazine. Let's see what they look like. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay current on all the defensive firearms instruction videos. And while you're at it, feel free to comment on this video or ask me a question. I'll get back to you in a timely manner. If you've ever had even a basic handgun training class, you're likely familiar with the term master grip or master pistol grip. But are you familiar with the master magazine grip as well? I'm going to show you how to build both of them. Stay to the end of this video and I'll show you how to use your master pistol grip to evaluate your holster. Riley Schrader here with Defensive Firearms Instruction. I'm a retired cop and personal firearms trainer. I help new and veteran shooters get or improve their defensive shooting skills by teaching the art, science, and laws of self-defense whether guns are involved or not. The term master grip or master pistol grip refers to the manner in which you should be gripping your pistol when you intend to fire it. To get the most efficiency and best results, your pistol grip should be the same each time you press the trigger. Let me show you my version of how to build a textbook master pistol grip. Hold your pistol in your support hand like this. Form a V with your shooting hand, making sure that the bottom of this V is lined up with your forearm. Place the pistol into the bottom of the V using your three finger grip to wrap your fingers around the pistol grip. And make sure that your thumb web is as high up on the pistol as possible. Now you have your master pistol grip. You can effectively and consistently fire this pistol with one hand. How you place your support hand onto the pistol is going to be largely a function of some trial and error on your part, as well as some input and feedback from a competent instructor. A master magazine grip is also necessary to ensure consistency and efficiency with your reloads. This applies whether or not you're loading from a magazine pouch or any other location where you retrieve your reload magazine. If your magazine is not in a best position to get the, your master magazine grip, simply manipulate the magazine and get it into your master magazine grip as quickly as you can. To build your master magazine grip, place the index finger of your support hand onto the first cartridge in the magazine. Make sure that the forward edge of the magazine base plate is in contact with the palm or the heel of the palm of your hand, like this. In this manner, you can, can touch your support hand finger to your shooting hand finger and be very close to the open magazine well. After you've begun to insert the magazine into the pistol grip, Move your support finger out of the way, maintain contact with the magazine base plate, and then finish pushing the magazine all the way in to the pistol grip until it locks into place. Make sure that you vigorously push the magazine all the way in into the pistol grip to lock it in. Then give a slight tug on the magazine base plate to ensure that it's fully locked in place. And there you go. To evaluate your holster with your master pistol grip, simply build your master pistol grip and then, with your holster in place, deliberately insert the pistol into the holster. You should not have to change your master grip to do this. Fasten any retention devices that may be present and then release your hand. Now, re-grasp your pistol 
with your master grip and release any and all retention devices. You should now be able to maintain your master pistol grip and pull the pistol from your holster without shifting your grip at all. Any holster retention device combination that requires you to shift your master pistol grip as you're pulling the pistol out of the holster is unacceptable. So there you have some information on a master pistol grip, master magazine grip, and how to evaluate your holster using your master pistol grip. Do you use both the master pistol and master magazine grip? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. If you're in the Southern California area and would like to discuss setting up your own personal firearms training program, send me an email through my website. The link is in the description. If you like this video and want to get more basic firearms education, subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest videos. I'm Riley Schrader. Thanks for watching and see you next time with Defensive Firearms Instruction.